Male prostitute Leopold Lisa took the stand briefly this morning in the trial of alleged murder mastermind Shuen Devani. Lisa, also known as the German master, testified that he met Devani on three occasions and allowed him to sleep over at his house. His testimony was, however, cut short by the defense and Judge Jeanette Traverso, who questioned its relevance. Lisa told the court that he and Devani had contact via two gay websites. Defence counsel Peter Boerter and Traverso asked Mop how a gay male escort from the UK was going to testify about a conspiracy to commit murder. Lisa was ordered to stand down. Judge Traverso then requested both the defence and prosecution to furnish her with written arguments for and against Lisa's testimony. Proceedings have been adjourned until after lunch to allow for taxi driver Zola Tongo to be transported from Malsbury Prison to testify for the state. Our reporter Vanessa Puna is at the Western Cape High Court attending the proceedings. She now joins us on the line to give us more of how things unfolded in court this afternoon. Vanessa, very good afternoon to you. Now, the trial was earlier adjourned after the testimony, uh, of course, of uh, a gay male escort. Mr. Leopold Laser was cut short. What happened when the session commenced? Yes, uh, his testimony was cut short, and as you rightly said uh, early on, uh, that Judge Jeanette Traverso uh, questioned the state exactly why they would want or why she should admit this evidence early on, also ruling uh, that she would rule it inadmissible. So what the uh, judge in this case wants now from the state as well as the defence is a, a written argument in terms of clarifying exactly why his testimony is relevant in this trial. After the adjournment uh, at 2 o'clock, uh, court proceedings resumed and Zola Tongo, uh, the taxi driver uh, who reached a plea bargain with the state in December 2010, he's come on to testify for the state uh, in the trial against uh, Shriyan Devani. Now, he's begun by telling the court exactly how he met Shriyan Devani uh, on the day of the 12th of November 2010 when he was a shuttle taxi driver at the Cape Town International Airport. He also then went on and told the court about how Mr. Devani had asked him uh, whether he knew anybody who could take somebody out of sight and how Mr. Devani Devani had offered uh, allegedly 15,000 rand for this to happen, also telling him that he would be paid 5,000 rand uh, after the deed was done. Now, a short while ago, just before I came outside of court, uh, Mr. Zola Tongo, who he's much uh, thinner now than what he was uh, when he was first, um, when he first uh, admitted uh, his part or his guilt in this case, he looks uh, as though, um, you know, his incarceration has taken a, a bit of a toll on him. Um, he was telling the court about uh, accompanying Shri and Devani uh, to an exchange a foreign exchange where he allegedly exchanged US dollars. Earlier on, he explained that Mr. Devani had offered to pay in dollars, but that uh, the alleged hitman then had said no, they would rather prefer to be paid in South African rand. Now, at that point, I came outside of court, but I have been uh, following on uh, from my uh, colleagues' Twitter accounts uh, that his testimony and his evidence in chief is going ahead. Mm. Now, Vanessa, has the defense at this stage been able to provide Judge Trevor so with the reasons why Lisa should testify and do know if the judge has received this report. It's, it's unclear at this stage uh, whether those written submissions have indeed been made. We do know that there was quite a lengthy postponement or an adjournment um, earlier on this morning in the first court session. Uh, a, I do know that that was also to allow for Mr. Zola Tongo to be transported from the Marmersbury prison uh, to uh, the Western Cape High Court. It's roughly about 70, 75 kilometers away. I know that's one of the reasons why the matter was adjourned for such a long time. And then I'm almost certain uh, that the defense as well as the state would have met uh, with Judge uh, uh, Jeanette Traverso in chambers to discuss the written uh, uh, arguments that she had requested early on in the morning. All right. Now, Vanessa, I understand that call is still in session, but what's happening in court now? Who's on the stand? Do you know? Yes, at this point in time, I do know that uh, Zola Tongo is continuing uh, giving his evidence in chief, uh, led by a state prosecutor, Shireen Riley. Um, it's not quite certain whether or not uh, she will uh, uh, complete her evidence or leading evidence in chief this afternoon. Uh, there's just less than an hour or so before court proceedings end. Um, but I do expect that uh, the state will want to keep this witness on the stand for as long as possible. Uh, he is the one that implicates uh, Shri Devani uh, in this alleged uh, murder mastermind plot, if, if it were. And, and I do think that the state will want to go through his testimony with a fine-tooth comb before finally letting him over to the defense team to cross-examine.
All right, well, that's Vanessa Puna live to us from the Western Cape High Court at the Schwinn Devani murder trial proceedings. Vanessa will join us for more updates when the trial continues.